Alright guys, today I'll be doing a review on the Thunder Power AC680 uh, charger. Now, this charger, you can see in the box, just some uh, quick facts about the charger. It's an 80 watt charger, it charges from 1 cell to 6 cell LiPo, um, that's the voltage range, and it uh, can charge up to 6 amps, discharge up to 2 amps, and that's basically the basics. So. So bring it out of the box. You've got the charger itself. It's got a nice solid uh, metal finish. It's like this is all metal, not plastic, which is really nice. It's got a cooling fan on the top, so the heat vents up. And if you notice, it's also got some vents on the bottom, so he can get out the bottom and some feet, so that uh, any heat, so the heat's not trapped underneath. Um, and this charger is programmed using four buttons. Uh, they work it works great it's really easy to program easy to use easy to learn to use and it just works um so basically this charger is like for you airplane guys it's like going from a dx5e to a dx6i basically so like that's the equivalent of going from like an onyx 230 charger i believe it's the one i reviewed uh to this so i reviewed the onyx charger before it's just uh one single button uh charger it has no display or anything like that and it's just a basic charger so basically it's this is your next step up charger if you get this charger it'll last you quite a long time uh... actually this charger would last pretty much anyone for forever unless they go into some really giant scale electric stuff and then you're going to want a charger which has a higher watt higher wattage so uh... the rest is basically this charger we'll go over the ports on it this is your ac in port so now this charger is an AC DC charger so you can have AC in here or DC in here it does include the alligator leads for the DC plug as well as the AC here's your uh, temperature sensor as well as USB connection this can uh, have a thermal cutoff or you can connect it to your computer using some software and monitor the status of your batteries on the other side here you've got your balance uh, port and your negative and positive uh, ports to plug your leads in. So that's basically what's on the charger. Now, in the box, like I said, you get the AC power cord, you get your uh, balance board here, which plugs into the charger. It does two to six cells on here. You can see it's got that. It's nice. Um, we have uh, the computer cable, comes with a mini USB cable. Uh, here's our adapter to go from the uh, temperature sensor port type thing to the mini USB. Our temperature sensor is right here. So it's just basically a little sensor and the plugs there. And then uh, we also have our, like, it comes with a lot of leads. Here's our DC lead. See, it's got the plug and the alligator lead, so this is clipped to a car battery or something to power your charger off that. And then the rest of these are the leads that come with this charger, except for this one. Um, I bought this one. It's for the micro batteries. Uh, it's a JST to six micro batteries. Now, that's the really great thing about this charger. It comes with all these leads, like there's a Tamiya lead, JST, uh, receiver pack lead, there's uh, alligator leads, glow plug lead, banana leads, and uh, all that stuff. Uh, it doesn't come with Deans or Traxxas, but those are really easy to make, or, which brings me to my next point, they're really easy to buy. Like, all the chargers have these leads on them, so basically you go to Hobby King or your hobby store or any place like that, they'll have uh, these leads for whichever type connector you need, which is awesome. And then the last thing in the box is uh, our instruction manual. Uh, it just tells you some basically how to operate it, and it's really nice because this charger gives you error codes. So you know uh, if it's not working, what's wrong. In the back of the book, it has all your error codes and stuff. So that's all that's in the box. Let's get to some more details of the charger. So some of the pros. Like I mentioned before, this charger uh, does have our temperature sensor here so it can uh, have a thermal shutoff 
And it also has a time limit shut off, so you can set the max time to charge the battery. You can also set the max capacity uh, to charge the battery too. That's basically if it charges over that capacity, it means it'll abort the charging because you know the battery's gone wrong and the charger's gone wrong. Um, now this charger does have, I believe, five programmable um, batteries. Like you can save five batteries in here, so you can just quickly go to that uh, setting and select it. Um, it charges uh, Nicomel Hydride, NICAD, LiPo, Life, um, Lion, and also lead acid batteries. So basically any type of hobby battery you have or other battery, this will charge it. Now, as I mentioned before, it's only an 80 watt 6 amp charger. Um, so there are some limitations because uh, basically it's even though it says it's a six amp charger when you're charging a four cell battery basically basically you can charge a three cell battery at six amps three cell and two cell and one cell at six amps but if you go to a four cell the max charge rate is going to be 4.8 amps i believe because you take the uh... you take the watts and you divide it by the fi the full voltage of the battery and that will give you the maximum amps that it can handle charging at so even if it's set at 6 amps it really won't be charging at 6 amps it will be charging at 4.8 say if it was on 4 volt or 4 cell so that's just one thing to watch out for I wouldn't recommend this charger if you are into giant scale stuff or anything really with 4 to 6 cell LiPos like if you just do park flyer foamies and such like this, this charger is perfect. It's small, portable, easy to take places. Can be AC or DC powered, and it doesn't need an external power supply, which is a really big bonus. Now, this charger is uh, really cheap, as I mentioned. It's a fifty-four dollar charger. It may even it occasionally goes on sale for forty-four dollars. So uh, buy it from Hobby Parts. That's who sells it, and they. Uh, it ships free from you because it was a $55 item and uh, over $50 is free shipping so uh, that's where you get it now I'll just quickly show you how to use it basically okay so plug it in and it's got an audible beep to let you know that it's turned on I had it on LiPo setting, it saves your where you were on your last setting, so press the stop button, battery type stop, the red button, and that will take you back to the menu screen, you keep pressing that, you'll be back to the menu screen, and then you have your program select, don't know if you guys can see that or not, it doesn't look like it, there you go, but um, you can basically uh, program select LiPo battery, press the red one, Nicomel Hydride, NICAD, lead acid and then save data so if we uh, press start that'll be to select that and then these are all the batteries that's setting one, setting two, setting three, setting four these are all the um, batteries that I have saved in here these are my most commonly used batteries um, and they are basically if you have a quick setting you can pick that and you hold start and it'll start charging now it's giving me an error because it's not connected to anything so it won't work now but yeah it's really nice you can have a saved profiles in here um, now if we go back uh, user set program there's a lot of programming options you can change the uh, voltage type so basically that changes it to lithium ion and life and lipo then you can change the uh, check time checks the um, current I believe every 10 minutes then there's a nickel metal hydrogen sensitivity peak you can change the settings for that uh, to detect when the battery's done charging there's the USB temperature selection um, and you can choose what uh, temperature it cuts off at then there's the waste time for charge to discharge uh, if you're set it on a cycle it will wait one minute between charging and discharging and you can change that time. Uh, then there's the safety timer I mentioned before, the maximum time to be able to be charging the battery, and then it'll shut off. Uh, then there's the capacity cutoff I also mentioned before. And then you can turn on and off the beep and the buzzer. And then it also has a 
it'll turn off once the input power is below a certain voltage. Actually, for the DC input, it'll shut itself off to avoid damage. So that's basically the basics of the charger. You just want to make sure that you select the proper battery. If I was charging a LiPo, I would select LiPo battery. And then it says LiPo charge. I want to do LiPo balance. So I'm going to select balance. It will give me flashing the amps. That means changing the amps or the current I'm charging at. So we'll put it up to 6 amps. If I want to do a fast charge. And then um, balance or the voltage, that's a three cell, 2 cell, here's 3 cell, 4 cell, 5 cell, 6 cell. So it goes all the way up to 6 cell LiPo. So you can use it for that, but the charge rate will be fairly low. Uh, the actual amp charge rate, uh, just due to the fact that it's only an 80 watt charger. So uh, that's basically how you use this charger. Um, just some quick pros and cons. Uh, this charger is cheap, easy to use charges all types of hobby batteries and it charges them well um, and it's just easy to take places as well some cons of this charger um, like I said many times it's only an 80 watt charger which really limits your maximum charge rating for batteries 4 cell and up and um, it also like I that's basically the only con I can think of at the moment um, Another con is uh, that it's a little hard to get the computer software to work properly, but that's really not a big deal because the average user is not going to really mind about that. But this charger, I would highly recommend getting it if you uh, just uh, say you are a remote control car guy. Um, that would work. This charger would work great. Um, helis, planes, anything basically park flyer stuff that this charger works great for all that stuff um, if you're gonna go basically four cell and up is what you're flying all the time I'd recommend getting a little bit higher power charger because this will take a while to charge your batteries um, now with today's technology you can be charging batteries at like 5c 10c and so this charger can't manage that it's not that powerful so but for the money this charger is great I'd highly recommend it and if you have any questions, please just leave a comment below and uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.